Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Incognito, my Minecraft Let's Play. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a wool farm. So this sheep farm, you've probably seen a lot of YouTubers or like your friends use it. So this wool farm, it's extremely simple. You can get any color of wool and you don't have to keep dying sheep like in the traditional sheep farm where you would just get a bunch of white sheep and then dye them again and again. So in this farm, all you need for each color of sheep, one redstone dust, one dispenser, one observer, and one shear, and random other building blocks, like you can use dirt or cobblestone or whatever. And just one quick spoiler, this is kind of embarrassing, but, um, this is actually my second time making this video, the same exact video, because the first time I was recording, I messed up and the, the video wouldn't come up. You would only see the audio. You would hear the audio. So first, when you start off, this isn't very resource consuming. You only need observers and dispensers and shears, not very resource consuming. Get sheep and as i said i this is my second time recording so i already have the sheep a really quick way to get sheep get some wheat start running around in the forest like i got most of mine from over here so run around let's say i see a sheep here nope that's not a sheep let's see i need sheep sheep Seriously, are there no sheep here? Okay, finally, found one. Okay, just grab a sheep. Or there's one sheep here. So you see the sheep. Hold the wool, I mean the wheat in your left hand, which you can access from right there. Because that way you can keep other stuff in your right hand, like I'm doing. And come on, sheep. There's another one over there. I'll, I'll, I'll get that later. Maybe. I'll get you later, sheep. Anyways, just like turn around every few seconds, make sure it's following you because sometimes it just gets distracted. Come on, sheep. I need some food too. I have wheat for you, but I need some food myself. Come on, sheepy. You can make it. Just a little bit more over here. Come on. I know you want the tasty wheat. Come on, come in here. Definitely not a trap. I mean, it's not like you're going to be stuck in a farm for the rest of your life. Oh, dang it, I fell. Okay, you. You just go in there, please. Please, go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. Talking to the sheep is very helpful. As you can see. Anyways, once you have all your sheep, this is really easy to set up. So you need one piece of dirt, or glass actually, and then place your observer. The observer should be pointing out, so the redstone signal is going to come here. And then take one of your temporary blocks, I'm going to use dirt, and then put one redstone dust on it. So observer facing that way, the air is going to face there. So when the sheep eats this block, I mean eats the grass, and as you know, when sheep eat grass, they grow wool. So essentially, when the sheep eats the grass and grows wool, this observer is going to see that this block got updated. It turned from grass into dirt. So it's going to send a redstone signal out here, which is going to power this redstone. And then that redstone is going to power this dispenser. And inside this dispenser is going to be shears. So when the sheep gets wool and it's ready to be sheared the thing automatically shears it and gets ready for the next batch so this is the little compartment i'm going to go through the whole entire thing again and then speed through the process dirt observer face facing into this block right here redstone dust on top of that block and then another dispenser right here so observer, dispenser, and that's it. And then right here is where your sheep are going to be, right here in the middle. So 
So a sheep container dispenser with one shear in it. Um, observer facing into this block and then redstone. So as you can see, it is quite simple. And I'm gonna speed through the rest and see you when I finish all this. So I have all these sheep farms ready to go, they're all set up, and before I do anything else, let me go to bed because I really don't enjoy working while creepers blow up my stuff behind me. So let me get rid of this zombie right here, and I don't see any other monsters, yep, nothing else. So all these are the same exact thing. Observer, um, dispenser, and redstone, as you can see. Oh, also, you can probably see that I have the villager bad omen effect. I have no idea how to open that. I'm just, like, literally clicking all the buttons right now. Whatever, if I figure out how to open that thing up. Um, I killed some villagers. Twice, actually. So now I have four banners. Anyways, back to the topic. Once you have all these set up, get your sheep. I have my wheat in my hand. And then trap them in there. The easiest way to do that is like this. Just make small staircases. Boom, boom. Okay. So once you get one sheep, just climb up here, lay it on to top of one of the glass blocks, and then push, push. Also, sheep are very chubby, so you're probably not going to get the sheep in on the first try. Come on. So like keep going around it, crouching so you don't fall off. And yes, we got one. Second one, over here. Come on, sheepy sheepy. You can do it. Just a little bit more. Come on. Yes. Maybe. No. From this side. There. Happy. Can you go in? Just, just make my life easier and just go in, please. Seriously. Okay. I got another one. And then we're gonna go over here. And then, come on sheep, you can do it. I'm gonna put my sword away just in case so like, I don't rage quit and kill this guy. Come on, a little bit farther. Yes, first try, I'm getting better at this. Okay, I need some more sheep. Okay, that one's coming. Come on, yes, yes, and please, please go in, just a little bit more, ah, oh, there we go, okay, last sheep, I'm actually getting pretty lucky with these, because I've done this a lot of times before, so if you're uh, new to Minecraft and this is your first time making the wolf farm, just be patient. It's going to take you a few thousand tries. Okay. Apparently I have one extra sheep. So, yeah. What do I do? What should I do with you? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill your little brother over here. And you... Can walk in there. Happy? There you go. Come on, little boy. You can do it. I think he's scared now that I killed his little brother. Okay. Oh, okay. As you guys can see, this has already started working. We already have some wool. And white wool. And these guys just got in their little chambers, so I don't think they're gonna be cheered for another, like, minute or two. So let's stand back and admire. As you can see, we already have five colors of sheep. 
And if you're wondering how I got the dye, it's actually quite simple. Over there, as you can see, I live in a flower biome. There's a bunch of flowers over there. So all you have to do is go get the flowers. This was all the stuff I got from last time. So this is white, this is white, this is light gray, and then these are red. So let me just demonstrate. Get the red tulip, you get red dye. Lily of the valley, white dye. Azure, whatever this thingy is, light gray dye. And then this, yellow flower, yellow dye. So yeah, I think you get the point. If you want a blue dye, just go find a blue flower and dye the thing blue. There you go. Yellow, blue, red, white. I think, and that's magenta, I think. I got that from... I think I have it here. No, I don't. Oh, I got it from a flower. You get the point. Thanks for watching, guys. This is... That's it. It's been a quick video. It's really simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope and think you can probably build this in your own in the first few days of your survival series or game if you're not making YouTube videos because this is quite simple. The only kind of resource intensive things in this little contraption is the observer because it has um, quartz in it which comes from the nether and also the shears which is made from iron to iron I don't think that's a lot to sacrifice for infinite sheep I mean infinite wool so yeah I think you could build this anyways again thanks for watching guys please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time